coral reefs are widely regarded as the most biodiverse habitats in the world. About a quarter of known marine life seek shelter, build their homes, and find food around these massive underwater structures. However, one-third of the world's coral species are at an increased risk of extinction because of climate change and stresses caused by human activities. Let's address this situation and take action. Coral Rescue. Conserve together. This project aims to make marine science more accessible and provide opportunities for public participation in coral conservation. In the future, we envision that people can grow rescued coral at home and subsequently return them to the ocean. We created our self-growing coral kit so that coral can be grown at home and then subsequently transplanted into the ocean so anyone can become a part of coral conservation process. The main challenges faced by researchers in coral conservation include the cost of coral restoration, climate change impacts, and the lack of support from the general public. The research team wants to expand their conservation activities to a broader group. We might be able to create a training system for coral conservation volunteers, which teaches marine science and coral husbandry. Coral Rescue Program to create new local interaction points for coral conservation research projects. The first step is to attend the training. The second step in the coral rescue process is to receive the coral fragments. The third step is to grow the coral at home. And the fourth step is to plant the coral into the sea. To assist the coral growing process at home, we introduce a self-growing coral kit. By using the self-growing coral kit, this has the potential to reverse coral decline. The self-growing coral kit is a water tank with a designed rig to help with coral rearing. Different coral species should be used in the reef restoration initiatives to maximize the recovery of marine biodiversity and ecosystem functioning. Place the coral fragments into the rig. The rescued corals can be grown in your living room. Corals are slow growing. Depending on the coral's species, they can take approximately three to six months to reach a suitable size for transplantation to the reefs. Once the corals are of suitable sizes, corals will be planted in the ocean with the help of coral scientists or trained volunteers. The Coral Rescue app will support the communication between coral researchers and local volunteers. You can record your own coral growth. Find planted coral growth status. Find events to attend. Report unhealthy corals. Share photos and videos of your corals in the community. Find FAQ, ask questions to scientists, and find coral growing tips. Hosting introductory hands-on workshops is an initial step to increasing the public interest in this project. As workshop support tools, we designed the coral display and flashcards to teach about local corals. We started this project as a collaboration between the Design Lab at the Institute of Industrial Science, University of Tokyo, and the Division of Industrial Design and Tropical Marine Science Institute at the National University of Singapore. We designed a new future social engagement scenario for the coral conservation process. Singapore, a nation full of high-rise skyscrapers, is the busiest port in the world. Behind the iconic cityscape, there is St. John's Island, where the St. John's Island National Marine Laboratory is located. My work focuses on coral conservation, particularly finding methods to uh, restore our coral reefs, as well as um, trying to relocate corals from areas that are under threat. In Singapore, there are a number of challenges when it comes to coral restoration. The first of which is definitely the cost because manpower as well as boat trips here are really expensive so there's a lot of resources needed to make coral restoration work. The number two reason would be that climate change. Over the last few years we've seen a number of global warming events. Corals have been bleaching in several parts and this tends to affect the corals that we plant out because they tend to die after we plant them out after a while. The third thing here is uh, in Singapore we tend to see ourselves as city folks, less of islanders and also because our water tends to be murky. Most people wouldn't know that there are coral reefs around so without that that they don't see that as part of our natural heritage and more efforts need to be done to reach out to them and educate them about coral reefs.
couple our work, we grow corals and we put them back into the sea. So it's like a gardener where we really take care of these corals to see how they grow over time. And from different experiments, we can try to come up with different strategies that works well in Singapore and hopefully share that with the region. And we can also identify the winners and losers um, of the corals and to see which one do better in this time of climate change and also different threats that Singapore's coral reef are facing. We aim to enhance the public's engagement with science research projects and hope they will become more active in marine biodiversity projects through tangible interactions with nature. Be part of saving marine life. Coral Rescue. Conserve together.